So I have a Marvel theory for you and if you agree with this theory I'd really like you to subscribe as I'm going to discuss these theories more and more and what it is that Marvel have decided to kill off Black Widow because they don't want any competition for Captain Marvel. Now that actually sounds quite sexist in a way because Marvel want to build up this female character in Captain Marvel but they don't want her to share the platform with another female A grade character. So there is Valkyrie and other female characters but they're not as popular or feature he so heavily in the movies as Black Widow did. So what Marvel wants to do they want to build up Captain Marvel so they can market the future movies based on feminism and Scarlett Hansen and Black Widow throughout the Marvel history over the last 10 years don't really have that process of marketing them based on feminism it was just a really great female character so Marvel don't want to form any confusion they want it to be solely based on the feminism marketing around Captain Marvel just like they did with the Captain Marvel movie because if they make future movies and then they just release them like they have done with Black Widow as a female character they won't have as many talking points so the whole feminism surrounding Captain Marvel was a massive talking point that created a lot of publicity. Now the two points that really support my argument or this theory is that I'm very surprised that Scarlett Hansen would want to leave Marvel and the reason is she's very ambitious, she genuinely appears to really like acting. So Scarlett Hansen would be very disappointed to be leaving Marvel. Now the second point is that when they told Scarlett Hansen they were going to kill off Black Widow, Scarlett Hansen negotiated for her to have her own standalone movie and this is also almost certain to be a prequel based on her character. So what the Black Widow movie is, is essentially Marvel paying Scarlett Hansen off. And it's widely rumoured that Scarlett Hansen will be paid $15 million to appear as Black Widow, which is a lot for Marvel. They don't normally pay that sort of money for the actors and actors. So this is like a payoff gesture to Scarlett Hansen for her to leave Marvel. And that will pave the way for Captain Marvel to be the only female A-list character in the Marvel movies until Ms. Marvel comes along. So what Marvel have done is actually quite sexist. They don't want female character to share the platform with another female character. They'll do it with the male characters so they'll have a number of very popular and strong A grade characters like Captain America and Thor but Marvel only want one female character to get all the attention and all the publicity and they've chosen that it's going to be Captain Marvel and they will continue to market their movies based on feminism but like I said Black Widow doesn't have a history of getting involved in feminist marketing so that, that talking point will get confused because if they did have Black Widow in the future you'd have feminist marketing around Captain Marvel yet around the other female character there'll be no feminist marketing so it would be confusing it won't get as much talking points and publicity so that is why Marvel have decided to kill off Black Widow to make as much room as necessary Captain Marvel and as much publicity for her to be the only female character over the next two or three years. The Black Widow movie is basically a payoff. They're paying Scarlett Hansen to leave and it's like a tribute for her to leave and that gives all the publicity and all the limelight to Brie Larson. Now also this is really the last big interview that was done by two characters on our talk show and as you see it's got seven and a half million views and it's Scarlett Hansen and Brie Larson and this is no coincidence. This was deliberately put together Together to make it look like there's a relationship between these two actors so there's no concerns off screen between these two actors and this is just to make it look like it's almost like a handing over the tour Scarlett Hansen is handing over the role of the number one female character to Brie Larson so that's why this interview took place it was deliberately done to make it look like everything is fine yet Scarlett Hansen I would imagine is quite upset that she's leaving Marvel and she's actually being paid off by giving her own movie that's actually a prequel movie so this movie is not vital to the future of Marvel movies it's it's just basically a payoff. So for me, this is completely sexist what Marvel have done. If this fever is true, and if you believe it is true, please like and subscribe. But it just shows just how much they're going to support Captain Marvel, that they will want her to be the only female character in their movies. And Marvel are actually prepared to get rid of other female A-grade characters in their movies, just to promote and just to publicise Captain Marvel as much as possible. So again, if you agree, please like and subscribe. If you disagree, please leave your comments below. But for me, this is really sexist what Marvel have done. They're putting all their energy into one female character whereas they don't do that with male characters so this isn't about feminism this is all about promoting and marketing their movies and get as much publicity as possible just like they did with the standalone Captain Marvel movie it was just publicity to help them to make money